Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz. Now this is a one-off video. I was going to use this replay in another video which was a revisit of the Know Your Role on the battlefield. But because of who was on the other team, I decided to try and do a video to dispel some theories. Now, there is many a time that you roll out and you see on the opposite team an OP platoon. Now, in this particular game, which was on my live stream last night, there is an OP platoon. And that platoon consists of Raid, Messi, rolling out in the Sheridan, who everybody should know on the EU server, one, a fantastic player, um, incredibly well known and clearly a pro and incredibly OP. Tuning with his usual tune mate, Raid S1K, another pro and another truly fantastic player. Now, when you normally see these types of players on the opposite team, you normally have a shiver go down your spine and you say, oof, we've lost. That's not necessarily the case, guys. And one thing about this game that a lot of people seem to forget is it's strategic. It's not just roll in and smash the bejesus out of the other side. You've got to play it like a game of chess. Now, I know that Messi and S1K are going to give us a hard time. Of course they are. We've already lost a tank, but they also lost a tank. Um, I smacked the T30 nicely in the IS-7. I'm going to now take out the Leo-1. Boom, there you go. Now, you have to remember, both these players are on 70-plus percent win rates after thousands upon thousands of battles. I am a mere mortal, however, on... 53% win rate after thousands of battles. And you shouldn't be intimidated by seeing these big names on the other side because they're not indestructible. And you can, if you play the game correctly and properly, you can triumph over them. So I'm playing the IS-7 here, a tank that a lot of people say is a pretty meh. I love the IS-7, by the way. I think it's a great tank. And I'm in a tune, as you can see, with uh, a clan mate, R. Sevic, who's out in his Sheridan. And we've got the upper hand. Messi is gone, so that's a big player and a tricky tank. He was in a Sheridan. Gone. And, we, you know, we can dominate this game. S1K is in the grill and he's a very very good grill player that's what i'm looking for by the way which is why i'm not bothering the uh, 183 but i can't find him i know he's there somewhere i just don't know where i'm trying to get him spotted up but he's just not popping that worries me because like i said he's a good player um he's a fantastic player and he has the ability to hurt everything on the battlefield so i'm going to back away and i i i, I need to make them make the mistake. So what I'm gonna do, and as you can see, I've got all my hit points. I'm gonna drop into the cap and either flush out the 183, which we do, or flush out S1K. Either way, I need to flush them out. We have a grill covering our backsides over in the uh, rear section. And my tune mate is over on my right. As you can see, he's smacking the 183, which is what we want to do. We still haven't spotted at the, oh, there is one SK. Sorry, S1K. So he finally does pop out. I'm gonna stay on the base. I have no intention realistically of capping out, by the way. I wanna put them to bed, but I need to flush them out. I need them to make the error rather than us. You may think that's counterproductive. I'm a big lumbering heavy. You, you could be thinking, Fuji, why don't you just roll after them? Now, I get a bit unlucky here, but I can see S1K is coming to try and A, reset the cap, because he thinks I'm just gonna camp here. When I'm not, I am waiting for him to be flushed out. He's now flushed out. I'm gonna take a hit, but I can take him out with a good HE roll. That, to me, is the game changer. We, we took out the most dangerous man on the battlefield, because he is, to be fair. I don't care what anybody says about the 183 having a dirt gun. Oh, Russian bias doesn't work. 
because if you know these type of players and you know that they can change the game, I could have sat there and been completely intimidated by him. Don't. Take it as a challenge, guys. Now we've just got the IS-4 left. By the way, the guy in our grill plays for a, a, a clan called Pink, which is another nice clan, and he's a really good player as well. We do have the upper hand here. My clan mate, um, I mean, he's in Zenith, he's been in Zenith a lot longer than me, and he deserves to be in Zenith probably more than me, is also a really good player. We have the ability now to turn this game around completely, and therefore we destroyed the raid too. They're not indestructible. Don't think that just because you've got an OP tune of two fantastic players on the other side that you're going to lose. Put your heads back on your shoulders and just concentrate and you will win. And as you can see there, okay, I only did two shy of 3,000 damage, but I did my role, I did my job. I get a second class, we win the game, and to boot, I get to smack Messi and S1K. What more could you want in a game? So guys, don't be intimidated by the big players. Just screw your heads back on and play your game. And they can be defeated. I've been Fujit. That's just been a quick video. Um, if you've got any comments, by all means, send them down below. Press like. Why not? Doesn't mean anything to you. It makes it look good. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. Lovely thing to do. Costs you nothing again. Big shout out to all my subscribers um, who got me to over 3K and a big shout out to my Patreons who without them, videos like this would be a lot harder. If you've got any decent replays, wing them across to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com or put them into my Discord server, whatever's easier for you. And until the next time, remember, the IS-7 is actually a good tank and no OP tune is indestructible. So until the next time, guys, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because that's what it's all about. Having fun and being happy. And you may be wondering why I didn't give Messi a thumbs up. Well, we only get three thumbs up now, which surprised me. I thought we used to get more. Anyway, like I said, stay safe, have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because that is what it's all about. Just having fun, chilling out and being happy.